How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Tower of Fantasy video. Yes, as you can see, the beard is still here, but it'll be gone later on today. So uh, if you want to check that out, I'll be doing a before and after on my Twitter. So you can check me out over there at Chaos Prime Z. So uh, maybe I'll see you there. Otherwise, you'll be seeing me on the next stream. But in this video, we're looking at Umi. Now, yesterday they released a showcase and I wanted to basically let that play out first so you can clearly see what the character is made of and then we can actually have a look at the character and see what's changed from CN and basically how, you know, and basically see where she fits in the world. Now she is a physical unit, pairs really well with Claudia and Lyra or, you know, a combination with Lynn as well. But overall, she is a pretty good AoE powerhouse, something that physical was really missing at the moment. I know Lyra kind of filled that gap, but she has really high maintenance. So you have to get her quite high in her advancements. But with Umi, that's not the case. And they've also switched around one of her advancements, the 5 to 1 and 1 to 5, which has made, although the DPS lower, and they have nerfed the number 1, which has gone to 5 quite heavily, I think by 45% uh, damage. It went from 60% to 15%. But... Her overall playstyle is a lot more smoother and, well, she just feels generally better to play and weaves a lot better. I'm going to play the video now so you can check it out and then we'll come back after that. Bang, bang, bang! There you have it! There's most mysterious and elegant magician, Umi. With a long whip named Mobius as the weapon, her skills are infused with a passion for magic. In both the gorgeous and elegant manner, this is the way how Umi combats. Let the show begin. Umi's attack skills intro. Watch carefully. Using Mobius for normal attacks, she deals an elegant five-hit combo both on the ground and in the air. On the ground, Use a skill to pull nearby targets by releasing a charged normal attack or a multiple stage normal attack followed by a charge. If her normal attack is charged while airborne, it will become a rapidly falling pummel and launch the enemy. Here is an introduction to Umi's skill. It's magic time. Let the show begin! Before using Umi skill, you need to deal damage with any weapon on field to accumulate warm-up points. However, every time Umi enters the combat, you immediately gain 100 warm-up points. And you can use the skill right away. Okay, it's magic time! The targets in front of Umi within a certain range will be pulled together and receive damage while suffering the slow effect. Umi becomes temporarily invincible while using the skill. More importantly, Umi enters the magic trick state after using its magic time. This is the core mechanism of Umi. Under the magic trick state, Umi automatically get either a spade or heart every two seconds. When there are two poker cards, it automatically triggers the card's magic skill. Click the skill button to determine the suit of the next card to combine three different kinds of card magic skills. Besides, during magic trick, Umi gains hyper body and is considered shielded. Meanwhile, during magic trick, the weapon Mobius's normal attack damage, dodge attack damage, and shatter are also increased. It goes without saying that only a magician can include all of these buffs and damaging techniques in one single magic trick. Magic trick can last up to 18 seconds, during which switching to any other weapon or Umi's death will end the magic trick early. Umi gains hyper body for 20 seconds when magic trick ends. If Umi finishes the entire 18 second course of magic trick, she deals additional serious damage to nearby targets. 
Eventually, please note that the cooldown of Umi skill magic time is 30 seconds. No other weapon skill or matrix effect can affect this cooldown. At present, the cooldown time can only be reduced by prematurely quitting magic trick after Umi is upgraded to three stars. Last but not least, we have Umi's discharge skill to wrap up the skill introduction. Okay, the next is an introduction to Umi's key star rating effect. Pretty cool trailer and it pretty much told you everything you needed to really know. Now we've mentioned before that the 1 and 5 star has changed but what else has actually changed in regard to Umi? Well on CN she is a shatter of 14, here she is a shatter of 12. Now if you've been following anything within the game these numbers here generally mean absolutely nothing. I know it looks like they mean something but generally they don't. There are characters with 14 shatter and they can't shatter to save their life. So take that as you will. However, when we're looking at her A1, we can see that pretty much all these values are the same as CN, especially for her A1. Her A2 is the same as well. Her A3 has had some slight changes. This has gone from 50% down to 25%, the physical damage increase. But other than that, the only other thing changed from her A3 is this, the area damage dealt is capped at 200%, whereas CN it is 400%. 4 star is the same when we're looking at our 5 star, that's where the big change has happened. Now this one over here, the boost to 15% during Magic Hot Trick used to be 60%. Now that's basically gone down to 15%. Everything else remains the same. And of course her 6 star has gone from 130% down to 100%. These have been hit a little bit, maybe a little too hard in my opinion, but overall they're within expected parameters and I think the fact that they've switched 5 and 1 around means that overall Doshi is doing less damage to a certain degree. It, as I was saying earlier, it will weave better. Now when we're looking at her skills, uh, normal attacks, dodges and her discharge are pretty much identical. Nothing has changed from CN. It is her skill that has changed. It's actually changed quite a bit. Now, from what we can see, 
the actual cooldown on Sien is 0.1 seconds, here it's 0.6 seconds, so it's actually a faster cooldown, which is good. However, in Sien you accumulate 3 points for hitting with a physical weapon, here you get 1. And for non-physical weapons it's 1.5, here it's 0.5. The warm-up gauges work the same, the damage equal to 950 is also the same, you do have warm-up points for 18 seconds. These are basically nothing here has changed that you can imagine. The cooldown remains the same. The magic trick remains the same. Now, this is the next bit that has actually changed. Increase the physical damage of Mobius' attacks, normal attacks and dodge attacks by 10%. This is actually 60% on CN, so that's a 50% decrease. Now, the shatter has remained at 20%. And of course, the final uh, gain hyper body for 20 seconds when magic trick ends, which is extremely valuable, by the way. It's what makes Frigg so damn good. If it ends naturally, it deals an additional damage equal to 1000% of attack to nearby targets. Now, this is 1200% on CN. Now, the mind puppet here has also had some change to physical puppet. So over here we have an uh, increase in damage by 7.5%, on CN it's 20%. Now on CN only 40% of received damage will be deducted from your health immediately. Here only 60% of the damage taken will be tallied. So take that as you will. The remaining 40% will slowly be deducted from your HP and obviously uh, in CN is 60%. So they've just switched those around. And finally, over here for Contradiction Corrosion, we have, well, last but not least, we have Immediately Recover 10%. On CN, this is 15%, whereas uh, this figure over here is 260% here, which deals e damage equal to 206% of attack. On CN, this is 360%. Again, I would say these are within the expected parameters. And finally, this is the final one, the Card Sweep. It does 12 hits, exactly the same as CN, but on CN this is 1450%, whereas in Global it is 850. Now there has been obviously a hit to this character, there is no denying that, but overall I do still think these are within the expected parameters of the balancing that Global is undertaking. I think with, you know, the way they've changed Umi makes her a lot more viable now to go. Her A1 is definitely going to work better. On CN, obviously, when we had her A5 as an A1, that was a lot more valuable because it was 60% damage increase. That's huge, right? But that's no longer the case here. So, honestly, A1 is really good. A3 is pretty much, in my opinion, a good spot to stop if you're really going for it. Anything after that is marginal increase. You're getting a 15% boost here, and you're getting uh, normal attacks and damage attacks damage equal to 100% of Mobius's attack. So this damage is not counted as normal attack damage. So this is only when using magic trick, Mobius has an additional whip that is automatically swung whenever Mobius uses normal attacks or dodge attacks. Think of it like uh, Sakifoa's flow. It does add, obviously, to the damage, and it's pretty useful, but it's not game-changing. So 5 and 6 star has been done in a way where it's not game-changing. 3 star is good, I think is the sweet spot, and 1 star is pretty much, in my opinion, though not absolutely necessary, I think if you don't get it, you'll be shooting yourself in the foot. Again, it's one of those things where I'm really not happy that A0 isn't good enough. I, I mean, I think A0 is pretty decent, but, you know, when you're swapping to the weapon, you gain 31 more points. That's 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 pretty big. And, you know, the cooldown of 17 seconds is not great, but upon entering Magic Trick, immediately deal area damage equal to 804% of attack to nearby targets and reduce their physical resistance by 10% for 20 seconds, meaning you're doing 10% more damage. So I think A1 is pretty much a must. Um, A3 is a sweet spot. Anything after that is just luxury and building up. That's pretty much it, folks. I think Umi is a good addition. Whether she's going to be the perfect addition for you is up to you and your pulls. I'm on two minds. I mean, I'm, I'm personally not pulling. I don't have a physical team. But if you, as you saw in the video, you know, she does 
have various comps that you can use and obviously it's not limited to those but if you've got Lynn, Umi, Lyra that works or Claudia, Lyra and Umi that will work as well. Either way let me know if you're going to pull in the comment section below. Love to hear. Umi comes out in two days so are you pulling or not? That's the question. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Remain legend.